so you know older music rooms there's really no money in it mm-hmm. um, but they've been here for so long they're kind of like um, uh, like a living museum I guess yeah that's kind of yeah. the way you look at it um, you know kind of got me into it it wasn't it was never money mm-hmm. um, you make just enough in both places to cover the bills that are associated with both of them but you like the music you like being around it you know everything wants everybody wants newer and better mm-hmm. and more lights and better sound but at the end of the day, you know, all older rooms got a heck of a lot more charm and mm-hmm. character yeah, than. Definitely. So that's what it goes down to. Mm-hmm. So that's why we hold on to them. It's still black. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still old, <laughs> and uh, we're still serving booze and doing music. So yeah. as long as I don't change any of that stuff up, I think I'm all right. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Um, but you know, it's regular just upkeep, really, on the most part. I mean, some things like, uh, you know, we specifically have not pulled up that board on the stage. Um, you know, I was telling you about before because to us, it's a you know, although it's not the world's yeah. greatest story, it's a story. Yeah, you know, you, so you want to keep it there. So, exit in. You know, I kind of like to look at it um, as you know, one of those southern must plays. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you look at a lot of the bigger bands that pass through, they'll be a hell of a lot bigger rooms, and then the exit in. Mm-hmm. Um, the exit in just. From a clout standpoint, there's nothing special about it. Hell, there are only bathrooms backstage for the artists. But at the yeah. same point in time, it's one of those rooms that you kind of got to play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It validates your tour. 